with Halloween just two weeks away, you may be preparing to receive trick-or-treaters at your door. The Centers for Disease Control says many traditional Halloween activities can be high risk for spreading viruses. NBC 15's Jaisha Patel spoke with a local pediatrician about staying safe, but still having some fun. The spookiest time of the year is right around the corner and families are preparing their candy and costumes, but things might look different this year. The CDC has released a guide ranking activities low to high risk. If you may have COVID-19 or you may have been exposed to someone with COVID-19, the CDC says you should not participate in in-person Halloween activities and should not give out candy. That's a pretty cool mask. If you do decide to participate, the CDC says avoid direct contact with trick-or-treaters, give out treats outdoors if possible, set up a station with individually bagged treats, wash hands before handing out candy, and wear a mask. Speaking Dr. Media, Katrina Skinner at Fairhope Pediatrics says you can still have fun if you choose not to participate in traditional Halloween activities. Maybe do an Easter egg style hunt in your own yard with Halloween treats rather than getting out into the neighborhood so that way you're not interacting with people who don't live inside your household. Dr. Skinner says it's important to keep social distancing in mind and wear a mask. <laughs> Many companies are selling costumes that come with masks this year, but she says it might not cut it. So make sure that your child still has a cloth face covering. Do not put a Halloween mask over a cloth face covering as that might make it difficult for your child to breathe. And you also should not put paint on a cloth face covering as that could be harmful for your child. She says parents play a big role in helping their children understand why these safety requirements are important. It's very important for parents to set a positive attitude because children will often reflect whatever tone the parents set. Jaisha Patel, NBC 15 News. Dr. Skinner also says flu before boo, which means she recommends everybody get their flu vaccine before Halloween.